As we roll into tonight, winds becoming southeasterly will likely keep the frost at bay. Uh, overnight lows uh, and to your Friday morning are going to be in that uh, 2, 3, 4, even 5 degree range towards western parts of Newfoundland. Chance of seeing some showers over the west coast by tomorrow morning as well. It's uh, some increasing clouds through central tonight and for eastern parts of Newfoundland, just partly cloudy skies to start your Friday. Friday's forecast is looking fine. We're looking back into the double digits for tomorrow. It should be in the 9, 10 degree range for the eastern parts, uh, the Avalon Peninsula. Uh, again, cloudier than not for uh, for central parts of Newfoundland. Temperatures in the 10 to 12 degree range there. For the West Coast, you know, looking at some scattered showers, uh, far from a washout, but expect the clouds to dominate with a chance of showers right through the day. Better chance of showers through the Northern Peninsula and actually some periods of rain on the way for tomorrow for the southeastern parts of Labrador. Labrador's uh, situation is a little on the interesting side. We'll see snow beginning by the end of the afternoon in Labrador City. That will then spread into Happy Valley Goose Bay late afternoon into the evening and overnight. And we are looking at that snow mixing to rain for places like Happy Valley Goose Bay, Cartwright, and that southeast corner of Labrador uh, that uh, snow will mix to rain as temperatures rise to around uh, five or six degrees by Friday afternoon. Could see a couple centimeters of accumulation before then, uh, even for Happy Valley Goose Bay, uh, where we could see up to five centimeters of accumulation. Uh, Labrador City towards uh, Hopedale and Nain, that north coast back towards the west. Looks like all snow right through the day on Friday and uh, through tonight and by the end of Friday, could see upwards of 5 to 10 centimeters in that neck of the woods. So uh, winter is coming. We'll have a full look at your forecast uh, tonight on Here and Now. That's at 5.30 in Labrador and 6 o'clock on the island. Good afternoon. It's time for Crosstalk on CBC Radio across Newfoundland and Labrador. I'm Cease Hare. Buddy was his name and the other fellers are winding things down on a province-wide arts and culture center tour uh, with uh, several shows in the St. John's. Uh, after 35 years of song and comedy, we're asking you today, what is your favorite Buddy Wass's name and the other fellers moment or memory? Call 722-7111. Or long distance, 1-800-563-8255. We have some prizes to give away this afternoon as well. And I guess the three individuals in the room with me this afternoon uh, need an introduction, sort of. Kevin Blackmore, Ray Johnson, and Wayne Chuck. Good afternoon, three of you. Thanks for coming in today. Good to be oh, with you. How you doing? Nice to be here. Sure. I just want to mention that uh, this is on Facebook Live right now. So if you're near a computer or uh, if you have one in your hand, uh, CBC Newfoundland and Labrador's Facebook page is where you can watch uh, today's show of uh, Crosstalk. Where do I begin? Uh, it's been 35 years, 35 years of uh, creativity for the three of you. Um, but who wants to clarify whether it's over or not over? Or, you know, I'm confused. Wayne, you want to tackle that one? Oh, Ray, you want to take that one? Uh, it's not over. <laughs> it's not over. Uh, well, okay. winding down in terms of, of um, touring. touring, Right. But with regards to quitting, no. Yes. It's impossible to quit. Sure. At this point. And when you say winding down in terms of touring. Uh, less, you... less shows. Yeah. To a degree. But uh, it, like, for instance, if we do eight in St. John's, it could be come down to five or four, whatever the case may be. Right. So. Okay. And and since we're, sure. We're, we're trying to cut out the prolonged touring. I mean, the time has come. We've been at it for 35 years. And, uh, you know, like uh, we're, we're doing... A, a, in 2018, we've got three separate tours of the country, you know, Alberta mm -hmm. and the Maritimes and uh, Ontario. But beyond that, we, we really want to, you know, cut out touring, anything extensive whatsoever. So individual dates, ones and twos and threes and, and that sort of thing, you know, that's, that's what we're aiming to do. So that's been mis misconstrued at times to be retirement, but for us it's not retirement. It's we, we have projects in, in mind, yeah. Sure. Um, will you miss life on the road at the in, intense level that you used to live at, Kevin? Well, um, there's nothing about the road which is actually easy. Eh? It's, it's not glamorous. 
hotel rooms, and if you, especially if you're shifting to theatres, one every day, as we do outside of the province, was rarely we do two engagements or three or four in one place. Mm -hmm. Newfoundland, we have a luxury in, in that you're in a, a theatre, say, for a stretch, right? Sure. The most we ever do is out in Alberta when we do four gigs in one place, you know? Right. Um, but we don't miss that. Uh, I'll just give you a quick rundown on what a day looks like. Okay, you get up. And if you can get your breakfast eaten by 9 o'clock, then you're out of your hotel room by 10, hopefully having completed one's toilet. <laughs> and then you're on the road. Now you're looking for Tim Hortons to get a lunch, right? Or yeah. something like that. It's really glamorous. The upscale stuff, you know. And then you get to a theater by 2 or 3 in the afternoon, and you unload. And by 5.30, you're done speaking to the theater technicians, who are a weird lot in the first place, because they don't like you anyway, and they don't, they don't like to work, and, and, and you know, so on and so forth. And now, now what's going to happen is you're going to try and get ready for an evening show. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Those are long days. <laughs> yeah. Those are long days. Long days. So what's there to miss about all that? Well, the only thing to miss about all that is the shows themselves. They're beautiful. Love I bet. the audiences. Yeah. Already on Facebook Live, uh, Tanya is watching from uh, British Columbia uh, this afternoon. Hi, Tanya. <laughs> Thanks for that. Uh, Kelly, uh, Kelly Crosley Bragg has written it in to say, I have so many funny memories. Uh, my first real belly laugh was back in the mid-80s when Ke Kevin did an Elvis impersonation. Do you not do the Elvis impersonation We had anymore? that in the show just two tours ago. And, oh, yeah? <clears throat> and uh, the mask is still at home, and uh, I could spring that back in. It's one of our favorites. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Someone also wrote in to say that uh, they're watching on Facebook Live right now from uh, Yellowknife Northwest Territories. Good old Yellowknife. So yes. there you go. Been there many um, times. My first time I saw you guys perform was uh, in Deer Lake, 1987, February. I don't know if you remember. <laughs> it was at a school, and you guys were just starting off. And uh, but I think uh, when you look back on those days and you look back on on what you've done in the last uh, thir uh, three decades, um, what is it that you're most proud of, Wayne? Most proud of? Yes. Uh, the fact that we've exercised creativity, we've gotten out what's in us. Uh, we managed to make a business of it and support our families at the same time. So, you know, we've created a lot of material and recorded it, performed it, and so on and so forth. So uh, no one big thing stands out. We, we always wanted to make it from our own small little towns. It would have been our preference to stay in those small towns, family, friends, and so on and so forth, launch out, making a living and doing what we want to do. Mm -hmm. And we've done that. We're still there. We've seen the world, we go, we do, but we always come home. And we've been able to maintain mm -hmm. the whole business and the whole uh, operation of Buddy Watts' name and the other fellows from those places. So maybe that's a, a, a point of pride, I think. And Kevin, where did all this creativity come from? I mean, it's, <laughs> okay, I know there are three of you, but this went on for 35 years. That's unheard of, practically. Yeah. Um, I'll be quite honest, you. It, it's really a mixture of, of throwing in pooling ideas um, and always a sense of optimism that it could be done, number one. And number two, having the need. <laughs> because there's nothing like saying, we got a show coming up in just six months, boys, and we got no material yeah, yeah, ready. Yeah. <laughs> but that will get you excited every time. Right. I understand. And Ray, <laughs> how did you guys pull this off? What, what was the secret to uh, what, uh, what you guys have done? Oh, well, I think they needed a, a melody man. Mm -hmm. And I thought because of my yeah. upbringing playing at the Square Dances and the, yep. the upbringing in terms of Irish and Newfoundland music, I thought I had something there to offer. And, of course, with Wayne's creative process going on in his writing, Kevin's comedic, and then, of course, my little bit of uh, background and so on and so forth in the, in, in the traditional style, uh, I think then it all came together very nicely. Mm -hmm. Then it said to me, Ray, you have to create too. So I write recitations, mm -hmm. I write songs, and I write tunes. Perfect. So it all came together in one yeah, package. Great. It certainly did, in one package. Yeah. Uh, this is Crosstalk on CBC. Call in today. We're asking you what is your favorite Buddy Watts' name and the other fellow's moment or uh, memory. Uh, three of the gentlemen are in the studio with me this afternoon. You can also watch this on our Facebook page, CBC Newfoundland and Labrador's Facebook page. I forgot to mention the telephone numbers, 722-7111 or long distance 1-800-563-8255. And again, you can watch this on our 
Facebook page, CBC Newfoundland and Labrador, right now is live. Uh, Bernie Tobin has written in to say, such a great band and lots of laughs uh, throughout the years. Uh, and Tanya has written in, we moved to BC from Newfoundland in 94. We were lucky enough to see you guys uh, during your Salt Beef Junkie Tour. Wow. And uh, that, was a, <laughs> that was a popular one. <laughs> Keith Cormier is on the line from Corner Brook. Hi, Keith. How are you? Good afternoon. How are you today? Good, thank you. Uh, what's your favorite memory from these uh, these three performers? Well, there's just been so many over the three plus decades, and uh, I'm fortunate enough to. I think I go back to 1987 uh, was the first time uh, I had the pleasure of seeing the three gentlemen together at the Lions Club in uh, in Windsor. At that time, it wasn't even Grand Falls Windsor for the third annual Exploits Valley Salmon Festival that I had a hand in in uh, developing and promoting in the early days and. Just, just, I think, you know, when you, when you have the combination of, of Wayne's ability to write fabulous music, uh, uh, Ray's uh, deep, undivided love for Newfoundland and his recitations and his stories, and then I think what's underrated in the whole trio there is, is Kevin's musical ability. We all focus on his ability to get us belly laughs, but I think when you pay attention to the music uh, that Kevin brings and, and many, many instruments, and uh, it's just it's just been a, a wonderful uh, experience to be to watch them over the last three decades uh, performing right across the school, a place we call home. And I just wanted to say thank you to the boys. I know them personally, and I just wanted to say thank you from uh, Doris and I uh, uh, for doing that over the last three plus decades. And uh, and uh, the best of health and whatever you're going to do going forward. Great stuff. Thanks, Keith. Good to hear from you this afternoon. Thanks, Keith. Thanks, yes. Keith. Thank you so much. Have a nice day, Keith Cormier, on the Trans Canada Highway from Corner Brook. Crosstalk on CBC. <laughs> the phone lines are blocked. I forgot to mention, too, we have some prizes to give away this afternoon uh, two DVDs and as well uh, two tickets uh, to the show at the Arts and Culture Center on November the 12th. Now, that was the extra one that you guys had it to was. add, right? Yeah. So, this is show November 12th would be how many shows? Nine. Nine. That's nine. Show number nine in St. John's. In St. John's. John's. John's, yeah. And that one, is, is that last one sold out yet? I think this you? morning there are 58 tickets left. Okay, so there's still tickets so available. So that one, on, yeah, it only went on sale, what, five days ago? Yeah. Four or five yes. days and ago. And given as there were people yeah. who sort of traded tickets from previous shows, if you really want to go, you really, you've really got to go into box office and, you know, there might and be single it. seats yeah. all over all, all the over shows. All over the place. All right. the shows, yeah. Okay, so, for see, all so the shows. What yeah. we're saying to you is that our reason for being here today <laughs> is not to promote the show, but to tell people, please don't buy any more tickets. <laughs> this is the last show we're doing in St. John's. <laughs> This round. <laughs> this is it. This is it. And then you get to go home and have a break. We'll go home for a while, yeah. Okay. Well, Dan Rubin is on the line from Pooch Cove this afternoon. Dan, hi. Hi there. I, I'm sorry to uh, hog the wire. I, I called in a few days ago when I was actually in the studio playing in anticipation of a, a CD launch that Dave Panting and I are doing this right. evening. Um, but I called in to say that I, I think uh, it was Kevin saying how they had kept their lives in balance. Um, and uh, I want to say as a fellow musician that, that you guys are huge role models for so many of us because you've managed to pull that off. Thanks, Dan. Wow, that's very nice of you. Um, kind of you, sir. And, of course, and, I know your work, yours and Dave Panting's as well, and I'm very respectful of it. I'm always taking great inspiration from, from uh, for really more Dave because I'm oh, really, yeah. I've been he's, listening he's to him for a long, long time. Yeah, he's incredibly productive. The stuff yeah. that he's churned out, uh, our first album, I turned to him, I said, I, I've written a dozen fiddle tunes. How many have you written? He said, um, I think 56. <laughs> 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 so that's what we did. But listen, I have a memory I want to share, and I, I hope it's okay. Um, I first ran into Wayne and Fred's records, and we had a wonderful discussion. And after he walked out, I had no idea who he was. Somebody, it was uh, Tony or something, said, you, you know who that was, right? And I said, no. He said, well, that's Wayne Hatch, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and it's that quality of being able to take off the mask, go home, just be yourself. But the story I wanted to share is that for a while, as, as you may know, I was uh, heading up the local musicians yes. association. Yes. <laughs> and I had this one phone conversation with Wayne. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Scratchy throat. And uh, I was relating to him the services that were available because the issue was, you know, whether to renew your memberships in CFMA 20. I, I ran down the list and he said, we've got that, we've got that, we've got that, we've got that, we don't need any of that. And I said to him, but uh, the other thing that we do is we provide advocacy <coughs> for all the musicians, particularly the young ones. And he said, well, in that case, we'll renew our membership. 
Mm-hmm. And uh, so there's there's an element of, I don't know what word to put on it, integrity, you know, empathy, that's, that lives there behind the music you guys do. And I think that's one of the reasons that all of us respond to it. The humor in everything is because there's 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 something inside that that, that rings true. That's all I can say. Thanks, Dan. Uh, those are very kind words, Dan, and uh, some great observations as well. And someone was asking me upstairs uh, earlier this morning too about the effect you have had on other performers in this province. Does anyone want to tackle this one? You guys as a role model musically, well, comedically. Uh, when it comes to the fiddle and the coining, uh, I'm getting a lot of emails and phone calls on that whole subject. In fact, I was down to Long McQuaid's there last summer, last spring, and did several workshops, to tell you the truth, mm-hmm. and uh, it's amazing on the number of young people coming forward to those well, workshops, well, and so uh, I hope to like, be able to do that further with these people and uh, let them know to follow mm-hmm. their dream. Yeah, uh, and no, it's a great point. Uh, I'm, uh, we had Alan Doyle in the building last Friday, and the young fiddler he had there with him from British Columbia. Really? Mm-hmm. Um, what's her name? Carson. I think it's Hendel. Hendel Carson, 25 years old, mm-hmm, and yeah. brilliant fiddle player. Yes. Really good. On Facebook today, Tony Sparks says, "Are you guys ever coming back to Cold Lake, Alberta? Uh, Cold Lake." Actually, uh, trying to plan a date there for next October. Oh, perfect. And and just on to doing that now. So, uh, Tony. I know, Tony. Tony, do you? we're coming, buddy. Okay. <laughs> but you might have to wait the best part of the year. <laughs> <laughs> Get in line. Yeah. Uh, Eleanor writes in to say, I'm going tonight to see these guys. Looking forward to this. Thanks, Eleanor. Uh, Carol Murphy writes in to say, thank you for the songs, the stories, and the wonderful family memories. Much love and respect. Uh, Gloria Ann Noseworthy says, final tour. I remember introducing the song Sarah to my daughter <coughs> as she was getting up on stage in Clarenville. I have brought the boys some homemade cookies in Brampton yes. in 1995. Remember that, yeah. do you? <laughs> yes. I do. So, <laughs> that's pretty good. There you go, yeah. Gloria Ann. Thank you very much for uh, writing in. I have uh, the trio in the room with me today, Kevin Blackmore, Wayne Chalk, and Ray Johnson. And uh, Isaac Bercy is on the line from St. John's. Isaac, what's your favorite uh, buddy, what's his name and the other fellers? Moment or memory? Hello. Hello, Isaac. Isaac, are you there? Okay, I'll, I'll move on to the next caller, uh, guys in the room behind us there. Uh, Graham Wood is on the line from Lewisport. Hi, Graham. Hi, how you doing? Good, sir. Uh, it was great to hear the guys on the, today. Unfortunately, I missed their show. I was out of the country, actually, uh, for the show that they did in Gander, shows in Gander. But That's not really uh, an if excuse. If I get the tickets for the 12th, then I'll, I'll be in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I, I, my, my fondest memory, I do a lot of traveling, and uh, I think every time I get aboard a plane, I think of uh, Percy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and I, I take it out of my Paris? iPhone and I play it and I played it for so many people. I run an eco tour business at Sent to Newfoundland Muscle okay. Bit Tours. Yes. And uh, I know uh, in the summertime when I have tours from all around the world, I I put them through the Percy uh, the Percy indo- indo- indoctrination or whatever. I can uh, explain and see for if they can interpret what is being said. <laughs> yeah, I'll explain for people who don't know Percy. Percy is an Air Newfoundland steward. I, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And it starts with he starts off with now sit down and shut up. I'm only going to say this once, and I'm only going to say it in English because I don't know a word of French, and I'm not about to learn now. I'm in the union. Thank you very much. They'll <laughs> 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 so, give you well, some idea what Percy the says. Favorite, sure. The favorite part is to bend over and kiss your ass goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah. I tell them they got to, they got a cooked meal. Uh, specify if you want a plain or salt and vinegar. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> all lines out of the sketch. But yeah, anyway, really no, I, I have a great yeah. laugh at that, and, and all your albums, I, I think I got most of them, if not all of them. And, uh, you know, I just find that uh, you really do portray uh, excellent, um, let's say, cultural heritage in Newfoundland and, and our laughter, which is a big part of us. And yes. uh, so many tourists appreciate that. And uh, I know they've gone about your albums and and stuff like that, because, uh, you know, it's really part of us. I mean, it's part of what we're called the Jolly Newfoundlanders, you know. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Sincerely. But, uh, one, yeah. other, one other thing I wanted to say to Ray, uh, uh, when I was involved with the NLTA in Newfoundland on the executive, uh, one year there was a conference at the convention center in Gander, or in St. John's, actually, at the Delta. And uh, 
I can remember uh, requesting the song of Sarah, which is my wife's favorite song. Yes. And uh, Ray, Ray sang it to her that night. So, uh, you know, I uh, really appreciate you guys. Uh, keep up the good work. Don't quit, for God's sake, because <laughs> it would be a huge loss for Newfoundland <laughs> and for everybody, really. So they were, they were thank quoting you very much. Great stuff. Thanks for calling in today. Thanks and so much for your for all your all your creativity. Thank you, sir. And laughter. Thank you. All right, Graham Wood. And as uh, Mark Twain said, rumors of my dism- demise are <laughs> greatly exaggerated. Greatly exaggerated. <laughs> These guys are not quitting, <laughs> and uh, just re- reeling it back just a, just 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 a notch. Yes. Is yes. that the best way to put that? Best way to say is, yeah, we don't want to do any more long tours. Yeah. Right. So what I was considering doing was buying a space in Globertown. And uh, we're, we can do all our shows there. So anybody who wants to see us can come to Globertown. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably not a bad idea. That's a good idea. Hey, Dolly Parton did it down in Dollyville. <laughs> I think that's a great idea. Uh, Don Hiscock writes in on Facebook today. We're looking forward to Friday night. Uh, we will have our grandson with us uh, who've been... Uh, uh, and he says, I've been following you guys for 30 years and have always enjoyed your material. Uh, we're asking folks to call in today. If you have a Buddy Watts' name and the other fellers memory or moment a favorite line or a favorite joke i always enjoyed the the last line in the song chainsaw earl <laughs> there's something about that line that you know kevin there were when i think about your humor over the years i think about now who was that person he knew in his life who acted this way or spoke this way you know i often wondered where you got these characters from where i'm assuming they were just a collection of all the various people you knew in your life and not just mine because when i speak, speak to both Ray, wayne and ray and of course it's our collectives as, as as well as everybody else you know there's lots of people who will come up to you and saying you know here's what he said to me i'll tell you what he said to me and and you take from it right mm-hmm. uh, but when it comes down to actually putting those bits of humor together you know it's as much wayne uh, sure because these things are are, uh, are right. they start with a written scre- sketch mm-hmm. and then you bring character to them right but there's so many funny people that ray and wayne draw from as well as i do and we have some fun sometimes just remembering sorts of people, and you can pull on them. You can pull on those character bits. I mean, I know that's my strength to represent character in two piece, but never you doubt that it's a, the sources, the three of us, are, and sometimes broader. Eh? Exactly. Yeah. I understand totally. Yeah. Uh, I just want to mention the numbers one more time, 722-7111. If you want to call in with a memory of uh, the trio, Kevin Blackmore, <coughs> Wayne Chalk, and Ray Johnson, Uh, You can also watch this on our Facebook page right now. CBC Newfoundland and Labrador's Facebook page is live, and people are are writing in uh, all across the province. Uh, David David King writes in to say, My dad loves uh, the townie politician, Mm -hmm. and I liked him too. He was a (laughs) soft Dickie Shea. Yeah. Uh, talking about the moose, killing the moose, kill, kill the works, he used to say. Yeah. And paved the works. We really wanted to enter Dickie into it. <laughs> Legitimately run. Oh, yeah. Run yeah, and yeah. And, and, and we, were, we were that far from springing We came Dickie really Shea. close to getting the posters on the whole thing, but so we're too busy. I mean, this would be a nightmare if it went off track, right? I've seen it elsewhere. Uh, dogs getting in an office in other parts of the That's world. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, let's go to uh, Hazel, who's on the line from Glenwood this afternoon. Hi, Hazel. How are you? I'm good. How's everybody else? Perfect. Uh, Hazel, we're doing well, yeah. That's great. Um, I got lots of good memories about the Buddy Watson name and the other fellow, but one time we were having a sister's Christmas. We, we have a sister's Christmas in memory of our sister who passed away 14 years ago. So we went to see you, Buddy Watson name in Grand Falls, and we got home. We bought the video. We were that, we laughed that much. <laughs> that we missed everything that we were saying. So when we got home, we started watching the video. And I have a sister who got asthma really bad. <laughs> she had an asthma attack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still laughing because it's so funny. And she was having this asthma attack, and we were dead. We couldn't even help her. <laughs> she said, boys, I'm dying. <laughs> Hazel, we're sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, saying that, yeah. I have another memory. My mother, I made a beautiful Labrador coat for my mother about 15 or 16 years ago. And I went in the Grand Files to see her, and she said, look what I got done. I said, what do you got done? She was capable of doing anything. So she said, I got an autograph on my coat. 
I said, my God, Mom, you never got your coat marked up. Who the freak was it? Like, I was mad with her, see? Yeah. She said, hey, shut up. She said it was Buddy What's his name. Oh, I said, okay. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> a good memory. Good memories, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, uh, anyway, I, I'm going to let you go because I know you're really busy. <laughs> and I'm here killing myself laughing at you guys talking because I can just see your faces, see? Yeah. So anyway, uh, my niece who lives in Rocky Mountain House, Alberta, mm -hmm. and this is for Ray. She said, I would dearly, dearly love to have a story by Ray that he speaks in it. Oh, yes. She wanted me to get Ray, and I don't even know Ray. She said, and she said you should go get Ray and, and get him to um, uh, speak at my wedding. I said, speak wow. at your wedding? What the frig money? You got money for that? She said, no, but she said, you can get in this, this audio tape it and send it to me. Wow. <laughs> that is great, you know, that, and she's young, and to know that the young people love it just yes. as much oh, as we yeah. do. Yes, yeah. that is a good point. Yeah, it's, that, it is. It's, it, and when you're down and out, all you got to do is put on tape and bars, and you're dead in mm. two seconds. <laughs> It's good therapy, well, isn't it, no. Hazel? It is. It's the best. Oh, Great therapy, Hazel, indeed. It's delightful to hear from you, Hazel. That, that's very, very nice of you to call in. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I really do love you guys. And, and like I said, you're a picker-upper. <laughs> and the worst of days. I'm Thank the worst you. of days. Yep. Hazel, uh, I'll let you go, but thanks for yep. picking up the phone today. It was good to hear from you. Hey, I'm sorry if I laugh, but I just can't do it without laughing. See? That's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> You're right, forgiven on this day. day. All right, have a nice afternoon, Hazel. Bye. That's Hazel calling from Glenwood. I have Ray Johnson, Wayne Chalk, and Kevin Blackmore in the studio today. Buddy, what's his name? And the other fellers uh, wrapping up uh, their province-wide arts and culture tour in St. John's uh, with uh, nine shows. Uh, a couple of folks on Twitter saying that they saw you guys in Stephenville. Um, and uh, a lot of people writing in saying that uh, they're really looking forward to uh, seeing you perform in St. John's. Let's go right to Harry, who's on the line from <coughs> Marystown. Uh, Harry, go right ahead. What's your favorite uh, memory or moment in, uh, about these three? Well, first of all, uh, welcome to the show, boys. We really en enjoy your program. Uh, I have a single uh, memory of Kevin when he was a student. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Do tell, Harry. Go, Go right, right ahead, back. sir. Kevin right Blackmore, back. this is your life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right back. No, this is at the vocational school. Yes. He came in from Gander, and he, and he, he went, came in and did marine diesel. That's right. They were going to try to get, get him off the sea somewhere, but it didn't work. <laughs> and Kevin, well, I'm glad he didn't. <laughs> yeah, Kevin, you remember the, the the marine diesel course and Mr. Cecil White? I do indeed. I, I, he, he he really did, he really did run a tight ship. Yeah, it, it's indelible in my mind. It's one of the yes. finest finest times in school ever. Yes, and mm. uh, we did we didn't see the silly part of you at school because he he, he didn't allow much of that silliness <laughs> in his class. <laughs> no, <yeah. laughs> no. So, it's all coming out now, though. <laughs> so to the, the people of Newfoundland. Uh, Kevin really did have a serious side to him. He was a good student, uh, mm -hmm. uh, tip-top shape, and a pleasure to work with. Thanks, Harry. Um, yes. And Harry, at that point, of course, uh, I got to say that uh, I didn't know that we could play soccer because we were down on the Buren Peninsula and there was not one but sort of two levels of teams, mostly because fellows from St. Lawrence were there and you needed two levels. So you had an A and a B level. And all yes. the classes were in encouraged as you did that harry because you were the gym teacher encouraged everybody to send a class over and we didn't think we had a crowd amongst us but it was you and the teacher mr cecil white who encouraged us and said you by god you will play yes. <laughs> i won't have you not playing this but cease with them and we got in there and just by, by pure dint of that inspiration you know we were able to play and play very well even though there was no skilled players on our team so i, I took an awful lot from that because um well, it was very uh, demonstrative to me of what team sports could be, even though neither of us were soccer players. You know? Yeah, I appreciate that very much. Yeah. Uh, where we down on the peninsula are disappointed that your show uh, doesn't get down this side of the coast. Well, now you take heart because in June we're coming to Marystown. In June? In June, yes, yes indeed, sir. We're pl well, buddy, planning that already, although it's not released to the media. There's no PR being done yet. But well, buddy, yeah. I, my family will be there. I yes, guarantee sir. you that. <laughs> and Great stuff. I will look. To, I will look you up, and we'll have a moment together. Two, two, uh, two shows at St. Gabriel's. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you very much, Harry. There you go. 
Uh, Harry Coos calling from uh, Marystown this afternoon. Uh, I'm just keeping an eye on our Facebook uh, live feed. You can watch this show right now on our Facebook live, CVC Newfoundland Labrador's Facebook page. Uh, someone wrote in to say, love the psycho dog skit. <laughs> uh, makes me laugh so hard every time. Uh, someone says, uh, it was Nicole said, talk about the yammy. Uh, Wayne, you're, uh, did the inspiration for the Emmy come from you? No, no, that's, no. That's, that's an old joke that Kevin <laughs> developed. Well, he and I, you know, because I'd be backstage when he was delivering, yes. and we'd get together when he'd come off stage or in the hotel room after that sort of thing. We'd put our heads together and, and try, just try to alter a few things and put mm -hmm. in a few bright spots. So it evolved over the years, basically. But Kevin started, and he's had that for years. Okay, yeah. yeah. That's one of those things, you know, you, you get told a joke, and that <clears throat> joke was told to me when I was in my early 20s. Oh, really? Really? stuck with me and it's a joke mm -hmm. that would take I would say would take 30 seconds to tell is that right <laughs> and now it's a 17 minute sketch <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and there's no end to the ways we would describe machines that go fast <laughs> uh, Lorraine Sims has written in and said do you guys have videos oh yeah yeah we've got Five yes. saleable videos. Yes. That's yeah. uh, concert shit. You know. They can go online and click uh, on those. Yeah, buddywatsisname.com. You purchase anything we have. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Uh, someone else wrote in to say, We never missed a show when you guys came to Bonneville, Alberta. And wondering if you guys are coming back to Bonneville, Alberta. But again, like the, the person who calls from Cold Lake, Cold Lake and Bonneville will do either one or the other. Yes. And so the likelihood is <clears throat> Bonneville, Bonneville will be the. Uh, Location, the location. location. Yeah. They're okay. only a half an hour apart, 40 minutes yeah, or something. Yeah. Minutes or something yeah. up there. And another question from Facebook, too. Ryan writes in and says, how about Fort McMurray? Yes, well, you'll be back next year. In oh, fact, yeah. in October, one, uh, either the second last weekend or the last weekend. Uh, and so we're going for a three-day stretch there, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you guys will be busy. Uh, we're going to be busy. This, like this like coming it. year, sure. it's uh, yeah. busy, yeah. yeah. Yeah, 2018 is not going to be a, an idle year for you guys no, at, all. at all. No, not at all. Okay. Well, let's go to the next caller. Tony Sparks is on the line from well, Cold Tony, Lake, Alberta. Tony, uh, Tony, you were watching on Facebook, and now you're calling. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Tony. For Hey, Kevin, how's it going? Good. And you guys, I want to say hi to you guys, from me and my wife, Sherry. Yeah, right on. And uh, I got a lot of memories from you guys. Tony's from Fish. home, eh? He's from he? yeah, he's I, boy. Yeah. yeah, I used to live next door to Kevin for That's a while. Me. Okay. Yeah, he was firing rocks at me until I smacked him one day. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> nutty, Tony, nutty. Nutty, nutty. <laughs> no, and, and, and I remember quite well Ray Johnson. He used, yeah. used to teach my heart class. Yes, I that, did. That was, yeah. And I used to remember going up to his place and playing cards. Do you remember that, Ray? Yes, I do. <laughs> I was only next door to the school, remember? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we used to go up after school and play cards and... Well, it sounds like you have an incredible connection. Obviously, uh, what's what sticks out in your mind the most? Everything, but the, the yammy is one of them. <laughs> yeah, the, the yeah. yammy, and and I gotta gotta get my moose boy. I remember Kevin gave gave me his first album. Yeah. When, when we lived next door to one another. Yes, oh, really? And, I, and 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 I remember him saying, mm -hmm. "I don't know if you want me to say this, Kevin." <laughs> you, you can go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> that. That you're going to go to, I think it was Labrador City or Wabush, and you're going to go up and try to play again because it's the last time you were you used, used to be with Free Beer. That's and right. You guys yes. got booed off stage. <laughs> <laughs> That's a That's new hard one. Hard to believe, but <laughs> <laughs> wasn't that with the CBC guy? What was his name? <clears throat> yeah, well, uh, Chris uh, Lornelli. Chris Lornelli. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, we had three but years. You ago. guys done really well for yourself, so you didn't get booed off stage anyway. No, we didn't. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, that's fantastic. Thanks for calling in today. There's an awful lot of people trying to call in to uh, uh, chat with these gentlemen today, uh, Tony, but thanks for picking up the phone. Okay, Tony Sparks has gone from Cold Lake, Alberta. Uh, I try to get through some of these Facebook comments while we're on the air, uh, guys. Uh, there are so many. Uh, someone wrote in, Anne wrote in to say that she's enjoying the show from Philadelphia. Uh, Jeff Meeker has written in. Uh, you guys wow. have created some funny material, guys, but you've also done some wonderful, serious stuff. My favorite song being Saltwater Joys, yes. my favorite too. Pamela has written in to say that she's enjoying the show from Connecticut uh, mm -hmm. this afternoon. Uh, Buddy Watts' name and the other fellers are in St. John's for nine shows, and they're in the studio with me this afternoon. Kevin Blackmore, Wayne Chalk, and Ray Johnson. Uh, the next listener is Elizabeth, and she's calling from... Uh, Fredericton, but she's from Mount Pearl. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi. Um, Thanks for waiting. I have. Oh no worries. Thank you for having me. I have a uh, three short memories to share. 
Mm-hmm. Um, the first one is just kind of more general, just about how Buddy Wes's name was kind of the soundtrack of my summer growing up. <laughs> yeah. Um, my extended family would come down from Labrador each summer, and then we'd make the trip from Mount Pearl to uh, Fogo Island in Bard Islands, where oh, yes. we would spend most of our summer. And on the way there, it was uh, Buddy Wes's name cassettes, and then later CDs. Mm-hmm. Um, Always listening to the Emmy, of course, and the helicopter. And uh, my favorite song then and still uh, was The Spot Where the Alders Grow. Oh, yes. Mm. So uh, that's definitely, whenever I think Buddy Wes's name, always those summers come back, the long drives. You sound like a serious fan, Elizabeth. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) uh, Yeah. And a young one at that. Yes. Yeah, for sure. I, I was going to say, I think you get the prize, Elizabeth, for being the youngest person calling into the show this afternoon. No, oh, well, thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, I just wanted to ask the guys, I'm assuming you're used to seeing the fans coming up, uh, you know, aging baby boomers right to the teenagers? Oh, Is that yes. a, you know, in this band, everything from, from the very, very young to the very yeah. old, you know. Yeah. And one thing we never did uh, find was a, a huge demographic of one point or another. The right. Three, yeah. We've been all over the map for our whole career. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's really gratifying to look out in the audience and see... Yeah. The grandkids, the parents, the right. grandparents. There's yeah. something nice about having appealed to all of them rather than just the older folks or, or whatever. You Definitely. Know, one demographic. I can only imagine. Yeah, um, I have to let you go, but it was great to hear from you. And again, Elizabeth, uh, you are the youngest person to pick up the phone this afternoon. <laughs> have a nice day. <laughs> Thanks, okay. Elizabeth. Yeah, Thank you, you very too. much, girl. Are okay. you doing Bye. university over there? Yeah, okay. I go to St. Thomas. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that university. But anyway, best of luck with it. I wish you all the best. Yes, thanks. All Bye. right. Bye. Okay, Elizabeth, have a nice afternoon. Uh, Peg Ryan writes in, guys, to say that they played in Trapassi almost 30 years ago in the church parking lot. That's right. Yes. It was uh, awesome. On a flatbed. <laughs> really? Right? Yeah, that, yeah. That's like old school stuff. That's, that's what Elvis right. and John yeah. Cash used to they, do. Right? They set us up on the flatbed. Did they? And pulled into the parking lot and boom, <laughs> fired everything up, and here we are broadcasting to a whole bunch of people. It was oh, awesome. my, oh, my. Yeah. That's a good story. I like oh, that one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Carter has written in on our Facebook Live page because you can watch this on on Facebook this afternoon. Uh, Carter is wondering, had the chance uh, to have a few words with you guys at Grand Falls Windsor before the show, but I have a question now. What is Kevin's favorite skit or song to perform? Kevin. Oh my. That's, that's <laughs> yeah, a very that's a difficult tough one. one yeah, yeah. Because I don't know that I have a favorite, but I really do enjoy doing the, the long monologues and the sketches. And, but, oh my. <laughs> tough one? Every t- yeah. I think the one that's currently in the show, the, the, the Yammy, is probably the single most requested one from, yeah. is it? Uh, from it all be, of yeah. those that we yeah. look at. You yeah. know? Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. And it, mm-hmm. it remains on top of popularity. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And I like doing a lot. Right. It, yeah. You know, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. Like, if you ask us, what are the three most requested pieces? Mm-hmm. It's Sarah, Saltwater Joys, and the Yammy. And that's kind of nice because it came from yeah. each, each of us. Each one know? of you. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. the Yammy's it did. The... It's always a tough question, too, isn't it? What's your favorite this or your favorite yeah, that? It because yeah. the delight in almost everything we do, you know, like we're, we, we, we got into so passionate in every piece that we present. Mm. So there's, there's something wonderful about that. Uh, you know, an awful lot of them. And you guys have had a, a CBC crew following you around for the last couple of weeks, right? This yes. Is be, is Zach Gowdy and Zach Gowdy uh, Mark Cumbie. And, and Mark Cumbie, yeah. yeah. And they've been delightful. It's absolutely wonderful. Oh, yes. And good to have them around. They were in Grand Falls with us. They were in Gander, did some shooting, and out on the West Coast in Cornerbrook. Yep. And, of course, yesterday and today we're working with them again. And they're Perfect. just fun. But, Cecil, what we like about it is they're not focusing entirely on us. The, the the broader perspective uh, is a look at the fans and the people who follow us and the people who enjoy what we're doing. Sure. And so we gave them a whole list of people who, uh, you know, like that we know and people who have been intensely involved with us, that sort of thing. Right. And they're going off and interviewing these people. And, and it's delightful to see, I tell you. And nice. I think it's going yeah. to be aired in December. Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, I have a note from Zach here. Um, CBC is producing a TV special uh, about this tour that you guys are doing. The air date is to be announced uh, but there will be a sneak peek tonight on Here and Now. Oh, nice. And wow. you guys will be interviewed by Debbie Cooper. So we'll yeah. get in the plug okay. for Debbie yes, yes, yes. and uh, Here and Now show tonight. Lovely. All righty. Everybody, uh, everybody seems to want a piece of you guys these days, including me. That's why I invited you in. <laughs> uh, Jackie's on the line from St. John's. Hi, Jackie. How are you? 
Oh, good day, gentlemen. It's Jackie Felton, by the way. I've met Kev. I've yeah. definitely met Kevin Hello, anyway. Kevin. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Always, you're my best favorite band by, by any means, favorite groups. So your serious stuff is so good and poignant, and your funny stuff is funny. <laughs> it's not derogatory. It doesn't put anyone down. It's just plain funny. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But Thank now, you. in the meantime, I know the story behind um, <laughs> the Angels in the Snow. Would you yes. like to tell everyone the story behind Angels in the Snow? <laughs> <laughs> you go ahead, Jackie. <laughs> no, no, it was, um, yeah. the, 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 I think it was on Kevin's front lawn, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, it, it, With it, your daughter and my cousin, I think, were the right. two playing. Yeah, yeah. My my daughter, Haley, and, and of course, uh, Danielle. Yes, my cousin, Danielle, yeah. Yeah, and uh, my daughter and her, and her best friend at that time, Danielle, were making Angels in Snow. My, my, right. my wife, Philomena, wrote that. Oh, oh really? okay. And I wrote the uh, I wrote music. the music. Yeah. That the, that's yeah. a f that my wife's Philomena's uh, yeah. poetry. Okay, I thought you wrote yeah. both, but anyway. No, no. Yeah. And but uh, she deserves credit because uh, she writes well. Yeah, clearly. Yeah. No, Danielle was telling me that the that it came from uh, you watching the two of them making Angels in the Snow when they were little girls. Yeah, and in fact, it was my wife. Yeah, and it was her, it was her writing and her memory. Yeah. 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 Well, Danielle still fondly talks about that. So. <laughs> uh, Anyway, gentlemen, enjoy your tour, and you, uh, I'm going to try to get one of those last 54 tickets. <laughs> okay, girls. <laughs> well, the care. rumor on Facebook is that uh, they're, they're, uh, they're as scarce as hen's teeth right now. Okay, uh, thank well, you very I'll much. See what I can do. Enjoy, gentlemen. Thanks, Jackie. See thank you so much. Have a nice day, Jackie. Thanks for calling in. Uh, Buddy, what's his name? And the other fellers in the studio with me today, Kevin Blackmore, Wayne Chalk, and Ray Johnson are in the room. Feel free to uh, call in if you have a memory you'd like to share. 722-7111 or long distance 1-800-563-8255. We have two tickets to give away to the show on November 12th and two CDs to give away this afternoon. The Last Laugh, a concert a CD. And I'm just noticing here as folks... Oh, no, that's are, a DVD. Oh, I'm sorry. I said CD, yeah, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. DVD. CD, DVD. I'm getting a little bit rattled here. I've <laughs> got about five balls in the air. Yeah, I, I just want to do. mention uh, uh, Sherry Clark has written in from Barrie, Ontario, by the way. Right. And uh, so she is watching us on Facebook Live. You can watch this on Facebook right now as well, CBC Newfoundland and Labrador's Facebook page. Uh, Dennis Payton has written in to say, my favorite line is from the D&C takeout. <laughs> is it tin soup? No, <laughs> it's right, right tick. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get back to Barry? Sure. We're going to Barry. So Are if you? he's listening, yeah, March. Uh, March now, particularly, uh, the date is not right there fresh in my head, but it's like the 7th or 8th. Sure, okay. Uh, and that's Talk is Free Theater. Uh, are sponsoring us. So you'd be looking for that. Yeah. it will be up on our website real soon. Okay, good. Let's uh, jump on the tin soup sure. thing right yes. quickly, okay? Yes. So what's your super today, ma'am? Vegetable pea turkey. Pardon? Vegetable pea turkey. You did for what? No, I'm not diff, but I definitely heard turkey and I heard soup. So I'll have the turkey soup, okay? Don't work like that. What do you mean? Yesterday you could have had the turkey soup. Today before that you could have had the pea soup. Day before that you could have had the vegetable soup. This morning we throw them all together. It's vegetable pea turkey. Oh, really? Yeah. Is it tin soup? No, but it's right thick. <laughs> That's good. Now, if, if that wasn't said That's perfect. in a restaurant, maybe it never would have been penned and, and recorded by, by uh, Wayne. That's hilarious. The but number the, of times I've gone cool. into restaurant in, yes. the, you know. Yes. Uh, the number of times I walk in and the waitress will walk up to me and, and say, you know, Turkey pea vegetable. <laughs> vegetable pea turkey, yeah. yeah. Oh, goodness. Uh, I, had, I had a buddy who was really looking forward to that because he could always then say, well, perhaps I'll have the vegetable and then pea. <laughs> I always wanted or, to be Yes, that. that's right. Yeah. Or hold the turkey and make it pea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Alan Doyle is on the line. Alan, wow. hi. How are you doing? Gentlemen, how are you doing today? Well, happy uh, to. nice happy, to happy you. lovely day to you. Thanks, Alan. Yes, thanks. Thanks I for calling, buddy. I had to call in and say congratulations on such a great run so far. I'm looking forward to all the stuff that comes next. And it's nice to hear people calling in and saying how, you know, kind and, and generous and, and you guys have been to the fans over the years. But I just thought that I could add to how kind and generous you've been to the bands well, as well. Wow. I remember, we, um, we, I think it was great because she's second trip in Ontario. Yes. And yeah. It would have been 94, 95. I can't remember. 90. And we, we'd played in Lobster Palooza. Do you remember that? Yeah, that's yes. right. Yeah. And we had had like a, like a week of gigs coming up. Uh, like the week following that, but then we had something cancel, uh, and we were kind of we were kind of hooped. We might have had to cancel everything and go home because we didn't have enough money to make it to the next week. 
and you guys had a gig in Markham, Ontario the That's next right. night. And we told you guys about it, and you guys conferred for about 10 seconds and turned back and said, well, you're opening for us tomorrow night up in Markham. <laughs> and you guys gave us a, like a half-hour opening slot and let us sell our stuff, and we made enough gas money uh, <laughs> to make it to the rest of the gigs in Ontario. And I always thought that was a, you know, an excellent gesture for you guys. I've always been grateful for it. And, and it was great, you know, great for us, but then it also taught us, you know, how we should treat everybody else, too. You know, it was a exactly. wonderful thing. And it was, it was so thrilling that, like, a couple of years later, we were all in um, – Victoria, British Columbia. I'll never forget it because we had made it to get to be as big as uh, the, the small theater in Victoria, and you yeah. guys were playing at the big theater in Victoria. But four, the, we had two nights there next to each other, and four of the nights were sold out. Yes. Newfoundland owned the strip. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, we were so proud of all that. Boy. Yeah. Tell them, uh, Wayne, tell them our favorite memory of that. Okay, Alan, I, I don't know if you remember or not, but we're, we're checking into the executive suites. You guys had gotten there ahead of us, and you came down to get something, and boom, we didn't know that you were staying there, and you walked up to me, oh, my God, at the, you know, like, hello, how are you doing, so on and so forth. Two 14-year-old girls ran up to us, you and I and Ray, and, and they got pencil and paper, and they trusted to you and said, oh, can I have your autograph? You wrote it out and said, girls, you're really lucky because uh, Buddy was his name in the other photos. Ray and Wayne are here, too. The two girls. <laughs> Look at us and says, "No, okay, mom can get their at their autographs." <laughs> <laughs> that was well, great. Well, it's all come around fully. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just wanted to say congratulations and let everybody uh, you Thanks. know listen Thanks, know Alan. about how good you've always been to everybody behind the scenes as well as in front of the scenes. Congrats, and I can't wait to see what comes next. Great Take stuff. Care. Thanks, Alan. Thanks, Alan, buddy. Cheers. Uh, have a nice day. Cheers to you as well. Uh, Crosstalk on CBC. <laughs> Buddy wants his name and the other fellers in the studio this afternoon. Uh, Kevin Blackmore, Wayne Chalk, Ray Johnson. And you can watch this show on our CBC Facebook page, CBC Newfoundland Labrador's Facebook page, that is. And folks are listening uh, right across the country. Uh, looking at a note from Nancy Baxter. My husband and I took our first vacation in five years from our dairy farm, and we went to Cape Breton and saw these guys perform. It was a great time with great tunes. Mm -hmm. uh, Darren Dodge has written in Where Fishermen Used to Be is another great tune. Yeah. And uh, Anthony has written in to say, where did you get the idea for Eddie Shea from? <laughs> we were talking about this politician. I was Dickie Shea. Dickie Shea. Dickie Shea. Yeah, yeah, and, and, uh, so where did he come from? Was he the culmination of every uh, no, politician? I think, you uh, <laughs> I tell you, you know, this is, a, this is where me going on with characters and then Wayne sort of picking up on it and writing out scripts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, so I have this whole sort of I love this Tony accent you know listen here boys because I grew up around a couple of these fellas right and this is the way they sounded right anyway we're goofing around with a bit of that one day in the cars we're driving along and then Wayne decides to sit down and actually write out a Dickie Shea sketch now it was based okay. on several jokes those first Dickie Shea sketches sure but they quickly grew to be this beautiful sort of lambasting of a particular nondescript character. Sure. Just, uh, just as beautiful. The quintessential... The quintessential Townie Bayman divide, <laughs> and, which, and... which is, you know, in Newfoundland, it's yeah. just wonderful to, That's to, true. to have that little sort of thing, you know. That is true. Can I throw in a quick yeah, little sure. I don't know, Kevin, I didn't even know I told you this, but... Uh, I was out the bay from my home at Platters Beach in the Capelin Marine, and there was a bunch of us. We were casting Capelin, and, you know, people from towns all around come to Platters Beach when the Capelin are rolling to get their spring Capelin and sure. so on and so forth. This gentleman hauled up in a rather big boat, pulled up on the beach, you know, and mingled with the crowd. Next thing you know, he looks over, he recognizes me, and he stomps, and he's coming over to me, and he walks up to me. And he said, uh, Wayne, I just want, I recognize you and I just want to congratulate you on something. He said, I just saw your show recently and you've got Dickie Shea in there. Now, what I like about it is all over the years, you guys have been playing characters, poking fun at Bayman. And now you're poking fun at a townie. And that's good, buddy. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> and then he went yeah. on his way. And then he went on his way. That was it, right? Yeah. yeah. The only <laughs> thing he said. <laughs> and that was Platter's Beach. Platter's Beach. Next yeah. to Platter's Island. Next to Platter's Island. Of yeah. course. Yeah. Uh, you told me 15 years ago ago about uh, people coming from all across Canada to visit those well, place names that you've written yeah. about. It's amazing what a song can do, you know, yes. like I've gotten many emails from people to say, you know, like I have a bucket list or whatever, it's right. the Eiffel Tower and it's this one or that one, yeah. and I want to see a rainbow over Platter's, Platter's Island just because of the connection to the song. Nice. Yeah. Nice when you can connect at that level. Uh, Philip's on the line from Bishop's Falls. Phillips, Philip, how are you? 
Good. And how's everybody there? Good. Good. Now, Wonderful. Kevin Good, Blackmore buddy. kind of giggled there when I introduced you. <laughs> Is there a connection between you two? No, no. It's no? just that right now in the show, yeah. <laughs> we're talking about the history. And one of the first gigs we got was the, the Lions Club in Bishop's Falls. And I'm asking every audience, anybody here from Bishop's Falls... Okay. And now in Grand Falls, there was always quite a few, but of course not out this way. Sure. Not very many. Usually there's, uh, usually there's well, no answer. Well, uh, Harry Coos <laughs> used to live in Bishop. She was my gym teacher when I went to school. Okay, yeah. Okay. But I usually preface by saying, okay, if I get an answer, yes, I say, that's not going to stop me from saying what I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> Just... <laughs> no, I, I never miss a chance that I can get to see you guys. And I uh, I remember when Wayne came, I used to work, run the Max Sims camp for back in 83 for 20 oh, years. Yes, yes. Wayne Wayne came up uh, with a group from uh, his school, and uh, he had he had cut a 45, and he gave me a copy of the 45. Oh, I, my, yeah. Ooh, <laughs> that, yes, boy. Wow. wow, the 45s. Yes, yeah. We Do you remember the songs? I can't remember now. My mind's not good for, for <laughs> memory like that, but I... Uh, I remember things and places and times like that, but I'm not for names. And that, Right, so. yeah, yeah. But uh, I, I always treasure that the fact that uh, you know you told me you were gonna you're going with the boys and uh, you know if I wouldn't be back many more times with the kids and all this and I uh, and I've seen you so many times since and I remember another memory uh, in Fort McMurray I worked out after I finished with the camp I built a campground on the Ian and Bishops of course and uh, my boys worked with me and I uh, I was out working in Alberta. Uh, after Jason had his accident. You've seen Jason's interview recently where he lost his leg. Well, yeah. right now Jason's in Ontario working, and I'm home, and, and he's gone. But I was at work, and, uh, well, when he lost his leg, I went away to work and gave him my job. So um, then we uh, we went to uh, just outside of Fort Mac. Uh, I'm trying to think which site it was now. I think it was CNRL site, Horizon site. And I, the boy, you were coming to town, and I said to the boys, I said, I'm going to see a crowd in town that are from home, a band. And uh, he said, who's that? I said, Buddy, what's his name? And the other fellow. And he said, oh, uh, what? And I said, Buddy, what's his name? I said, and the other fellow. They never had a clue who about you, right? <laughs> because they're all from uh, all parts of uh, everywhere, everywhere in the world, actually. Yeah. And uh, uh, workers from B.C. mostly. But anyway, I took a band load of us went in, and I, I I enjoyed your show so much. But I enjoyed the expressions on the on the boys when they and they got used to a bit of the Newfoundland lingo because there were a few Newfies on site. But I, the expression that they had and the fun that we had, and went downstairs and they bought uh, some of your stuff, and uh, they just I talked to you for a bit there. Then last time I saw you was in Deer Lake. You were going to shows in uh, Stephenville. I uh, talked to you, Ray, about the horses. My goodness. Uh, yeah. Yes, yes, sir, I remember you, and I think we're going to be in touch with you. <clears throat> well, I tell you what, you um, there's a lot of things happening, and I'm working with another group now, too, so I want to tell you about all that. So uh, well, I want to congratulate you. Uh, you bring joy, which is the greatest gift. Thank you, sir. I feel the same way, sir. Thank you for calling, Philip. Um, I know I can, you, I, I can I can hear the uh, difficult time you're having there. So uh, thank you for calling in, and thanks for the kind words uh, for the gentleman. Uh, before I go to my next caller, a couple of folks on social media who are watching from all over. Uh, somebody's watching from Rosie's Restaurant in Gander. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Winston Park from Toronto. Always enjoyed the live shows when these guys came to Toronto. Uh, Denise uh, Vokey has written in to say, I had the privilege of doing some step dancing on stage with oh, the really? band oh, yes, yes. Yes. in yes. Hinton, Alberta right in, oh, wow. in the late 1990s. <laughs> Man. And she says, uh, they were so kind uh, to oblige my dream yeah. uh, request yeah. to perform with them. She's you know, I, dance school after that. I yes. was just wondering if I could interject you because we don't can. have much time. No, we're down to our last two minutes, and sadly. I'd just like to refer back to the young girl, the youngest girl who called in, yes. and the comments by Alan Doyle. Elizabeth uh, and Alan Doyle, right? I don't know how long I got. I don't know how long Buddy West's name the other fellas got. I hope it will be a long time, but I think the time has come where we had to get our young people to imitate three young people like us when we first started out. Mm -hmm. So my question is, are there any people out there who would like to have a career 
follow up from the body what's his name the other we're going to be starting our, our auditions at, I think at the end <laughs> yeah. of the year at the Glovertown <laughs> location yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. warm up the crowd yeah. a bit yeah. right tell a few jokes <laughs> that's right <laughs> that kind of stuff there it is. Yeah. now Ray speaking uh, uh, I, did you do push ups on the stage last night yes, someone I, told me you did push ups on the I stage I did yes mm. oh, come on you're showing I don't know how now, many right? I did <clears throat> but I still do them <laughs> Yeah, that's a that's incredible. It's part of the chocolate song. Yeah, <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> okay, um, there's only one minute left in the show, so there's not much point in going on to any more uh, listeners. Uh, two DVDs, some tickets to give away as well. Uh, thanks, uh, gentlemen, for coming in. Well, uh, any you. final words before I let you go? Yeah, this is never long enough. It, it, it's not. I was <laughs> yeah. thinking the same thing, Kevin. I just yeah. had that thought. I thought. Oh, we could go at least another half hour here. Oh, so yeah, maybe yeah. if you're still on tour next year, <laughs> no, if you guys are ever in town again, yeah, uh, feel free. It's always to, such a uh, joy and pleasure to come in. Thanks so much. Yeah, and and the audience really enjoyed it clearly as well. Lovely. Okay, mm -hmm. nice seeing all three of you. All Thanks, the best. Take care. Take care, guys. Thank you. That wraps up today's show. Thanks for li listening and uh, enjoy your afternoon, folks. We'll see you same time tomorrow. C News for Newfoundland and Labrador. I'm Nancy Walsh. The provincial government is looking for proposals to evaluate its waste management strategy. The plan dates back 15 years and includes things like increasing recycling.